Okay, so here we are, a lap of Shanghai in China. The last corner coming up. Don't clip any curbs here because you want to open up this straight with the DRS and the final burst of curves as well before that fresh allocation sees you on another lap. Now towards turn one, a difficult corner this one. Feed the car in at high speed and you lose downforce and speed the whole way through the corner. Keep it in the middle of the track and then at turn two, pinch it in and find those apexes. Turn three, the, the track dips away from you. Very easy to lock up the front wheels there as well, so watch out for that. Now as the track rises up the hill through turn five into turn six, a great overtaking opportunity come race day. Down into second gear, hug the inside corner and watch that oversteer on the exit. That will lose you time and risk damage in your tires. Now in towards turn seven, a flat out left-hander. Ease it back though, because the right-hander that follows tightens up right at the exit. And you want to keep the car to the right-hand side here to open up turns nine and 10, this fantastic double left corner, not running out too wide on the exit curb there. That will spit the car off or potentially come race day when the rear tires are worn. Now, towards the tight left-hander of turn 11 and 12, this right corner is very tricky to feed the power on. It's the opposite of turn one, where you're building up the speed through the corner and you get that luxury, the downfalls build up as you exit. Now on the run down towards turn 14, this long, long back straight DRS is open, a brilliant overtaking opportunity come race day as well, and one that's very hard to defend if you're in front. Now, first gear, one of the tightest corners on the track, 50 miles an hour roughly at the apex, and as you run up the hill towards the final corner, you don't want to take too much of the curb there, it's very sharp on the left-hand side, and let the car run out all the way and a bit more towards the start-finish line.